Hello me guys, so here I am in York, um, as you can see I'm currently in my hotel room and uh, first off I thought I'd give you a quick little tour, I did a bit of tidying up especially, so here we go. So first off, it's my bed with Fred on it, it's a nice big double bed all to myself, all to myself. I had the most wonderful night's sleep last night. It was beautiful. Um, I'll quickly also show you the uh, t uh, view I've got from my window, which is quite nice. So I get a really nice view of the city. Um, I've got obviously my desk and the TV. Um, I don't actually have a wardrobe, but I have these rail things, so I've put some clothes on some hairs, including my coat and what have you. Um, and here's the bathroom. Oh, that looks really weird. <laughs> you can tell, I'm, you can obviously see in the mirror that I'm filming this on my MacBook um, because that's the only camera I've got with me. So, yeah, I've got like the towels. Um, I'm trying to get this in the right way. Yeah, I have a shower but not a bath. So, pamper session is no go. Well, I can kind of pamper myself, I just don't get to have a nice bubble bath. And obviously sink and my bag of toiletries and bag of makeup. So yeah. Oop, that's the basic um, bedroom tour of where I'll be staying. Well, I stayed last night and I'll be staying here tonight as well. And then I'll be going home tomorrow. Sad face. So I'm going to make the most of tomorrow, or tonight rather, so I can... Really enjoy a good night's sleep. <laughs> I'm sitting for the two week when I go back, I've got to go back to um bedroom battle with my fiance, so oh dear. Anyway, so I'll also update you about what I was up to yesterday. Um I did go into college yesterday, um, but I didn't attend any lectures, although I was technically supposed to attend lectures, but I really didn't feel up to it. Because I'm thinking Everyone's going to be winding me up and driving me batty and I've got a five and a half hour train journey to deal with, with three or four changes. Um, I'm not in the mood to be around my irritating classmates, which is, I think, fair enough. Um, and um, so I basically skived and I just hung out with my student union friends and I did some stuff for Women's Day, which is on Friday, because I thought if I get it done... Well, if I got it done yesterday, then I would just be able to just not worry about it at the conference. Um, so I'm like, yay, that's quite good. Um, and so at three o'clock, uh, Liz drops me off at the train station um, and sees me off. And then I begin my epic journey. So um, I obviously get into London Waterloo from Haven't which is like an hour journey in itself. And I was thinking, okay, this is, that's the first bit done. And then I was, and then I stood there in London Waterloo Station thinking, crap, all these different places to go. And I'm thinking, which tube station do I actually need to go to? Which line do I need to go to? And then I was thinking, oh yeah, I've got the list of, what, of um, instructions from Liz. So I quickly and thankfully got the list out and used it to um, guide me through the tubes. So I had to get on the Northern Line, then the Victoria Line. I was thinking two different train lines. Ah! Uh, the first tube wasn't so bad because I actually got to sit down um, and rest my poor back. And I was because I obviously I just decided to put my pamper bag into my backpack, which wasn't a wise move because it killed my shoulder. So I took it out when I got onto King's Cross. Um, then, um, yeah, obviously then the second tube was horrible because I had to stand up and clutch at a rail for dear life and hope I didn't die. It was, and I was, because I was literally, I was literally this far away from the door. And I was thinking, how can Londoners live like this? Seriously? How? Just how? I know if I ever go to London that I will try and use the tube as little as possible. That is something I've decided right away. Um, but I'll probably end up having to use the tube again, considering I'll be going to Eurogamer this year, like I did last year, but I don't think I'll be on a press pass this year. Unless um, 
Custard trout's really nice to me. Um, so yeah, I got onto the uh, King's Cross. Unfortunately, my platform was nowhere near 9 and 10. I was platform 5. Um, but I still managed to get a nice photo of King's Cross, which is on my Facebook page. Um, and then obviously got on the train to Edinburgh. Well, technically the train was going to Edinburgh, but it stopped at York, which is the train I needed. So got on the train. I think it was another hour and a half. No, it was about... No, it was two hours because I... Yeah, it was about an hour or so because I got on the train at six and it was ten to eight when I got to York. So, about an hour and fifty minutes. Yay. Um, so I got off the train and then I was thinking I could either get on a taxi um, and use some of the petty cash I've been given... Or, here's the or, I can actually just walk. And I'm thinking, what would I rather do? And I'm thinking, I'm too tired for all this mucking around. I'm going to get a taxi. Um, it was £4.10 for a 10 minute journey. And um, in um, in Hampshire, it's £8.10 for the 10 minute drive from Fareham to Porchester. And I'm thinking, for, I'm liking York. I'm liking York already because the taxis are cheaper. I'm like, yes. Because obviously I'm going to want a taxi uh, to the station as well, so that's going to be another £4.10. Um, and so, so, yeah, I was like, yay. So I checked in um, and I met up with some of the delegates who had to come over today, yesterday as well, like me. It was quite a few of us, actually. Um, one girl's from Northern Ireland. And I'm thinking, wow, they have a union over there? And she was sort of talking about um, all the issues they've got over there. And I'm thinking, when I thought Hampshire was a nightmare. And then um, loads of people were really surprised when we were sort of saying, oh, what, what my union was like. Oh, my God, you've got three women's officers? Three? It's it's difficult for us to even get one, one person said. And I was like, really? And they're like, yeah. And it was the most random night ever because we decided after dinner that we would go to the to a pub, we'll go look go on a bit of a pub crawl. Um well we said, so, well we'll go to a pub and we'll uh, try their beer and then we'll go home. Or we'll go back to the thing because we have got the conference in the morning. Um and we were like, oh fair enough. Um so we found this really nice little indie pub. One good thing about York, nearly all the pubs are indie rather than all these weather spoons and all that shit. Um, so that so it's proper good beer, and um, I had the beer of the day that day, and I was thinking, oh, lovely! It was a really nice one. Again, I put a picture of that on my Facebook page. So yeah, um, and it was one of the nicest beers I'd ever had. And I'm thinking, hmm, lovely, lovely nice pint, um, and we all nattered. Um, random conversations turned to um, I think. Inappropriate baby costumes came up quite a bit, which was brilliant. I mean, this girl was amazing. She's, I think she's one of the black women's officers. And she was all talking about um, uh, the fact that her partner and her became uh, aunt and uncle to a little baby because uh, her partner's brother had a child. And they were like, what can we get this child? And they said, oh, an, an inappropriate baby costume. So I can't remember what it was. I think it was like a... a uh, costume of a of a babe of a like a wrap sort of thing like a food wrap and, um, and I was thinking this is brilliant um and she goes on to say oh and um, then we dressed it up in front of his rather indignant parents and I was like oh my god you are wonderful Josh would kill me if I tried to dress it up as a dress a, our child up as a piece of food <laughs> it was brilliant and um, we just had a ma it was a really good laugh and we were sort of talking about our unions and unis and colleges back home and what our issues are and um, and then I dropped into the conversation it was like I was um, because before I set off for York one of the girls that um, she's um, w wanting to work with young people and so she comes into college um, once a week and um, she sort of said um Oh, by the way, uh, York has some really good pagan shops. And I was like, oh, right. She goes, well, I used to live in York and um, obviously I'm Wiccan, she said. 
and um, York has some really nice places and I was thinking oh okay so I dropped it into the conversation they were like um, and luckily one of the trans officers said oh I've got a friend who's a pagan lives in York he might be able to tell me a couple of places that you can go to when you're on one of your breaks and I was like oh fair enough um, and um, yeah and so I've been given a couple of places that I need to go to so I'll go to those hopefully today don't know if I'll be if I've because I mean I think because I don't have to go to all these caucus sessions apparently a caucus I now all know what it is it's a group of people it's a group of people who are co have one thing in common or a couple of things in common so I'm like yay um, and obviously we talked about last night a lot about uh, lashings of ginger beer uh, so, so, and I get to see them tonight I get to watch the act and apparently they're amazing so I'm pretty excited and I'll let you guys know how that goes um, in my next video um, yeah so that's that um, and then obviously I headed back home after having a pint and, uh, and I sort of was like you know what I've got the conference in the morning I better settle down and um, I set my alarm for half seven and went to bed and I was like first thing I felt I was like spread because I can't do that at home <laughs> I can't do that when I'm in Porchester because obviously that's what Josh likes to do. So I'm sort of at the edge of the bed and he sort of takes up most of the space and I'm like, Ugh. but I've had the nicest night's sleep I've had in a, in a long, long time. So I'm really, really happy. Um, and it was just nice to wake up this morning to the view, although it is rather overcast today. Yesterday was really sunny. Um, it's, it was still nice. To wake up to a nice view, um, and obviously I just I just potted around for a bit. Um, so glad I've got free Wi-Fi so I can check stuff out. Um, had a shower, did some makeup, got dressed, had some breakfast, came back upstairs, put my lipstick on to clean my teeth, um, and now obviously doing this video quick because I need to s register myself in in half an hour. So that means I've got my uh, lanyard, so I'm wearing my horrible college lanyard with my horrible college photo. It looks nothing like me because I don't have my coloured fringe anymore or my coloured hair. I want my coloured hair back. Everyone was quite impressed when I told them I used to have rainbow hair because the conversation for some reason turned to clothing and they were like, and then they asked me how old I was and I said, oh, I'm 19. They're like, oh my god, we thought you were like 23. And I'm like, really? Why is that? And they go, because you, you, you're dressed in a way that uh, it's like you, you could be my boss the way you dress. And I was like, oh, thank you. Uh, and I said, well, I don't know. Maybe I am just have this weird habit of being having to look smart for things like this. And she was like, oh, fair enough. I mean, I'm just in my hoodie, but, you know, whatever floats your boat. So, yeah. Um, making sure I put all my paperwork. Oh, my God. I admit lost a bit of place. I, oh, no, I know where that is. It's in my bag. That's fine. Because I need to provide a letter from college to say that I'm an elected official and a member of student union. Um, college ID to prove I'm a student. And I've got my NUS card in my purse. I'll probably get my purse and put that in my bag in a minute. Because it's in the safe at the moment. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, so I've got about 20 minutes before I need to head down. So I'll probably head out in a minute. Um, and obviously let room service in. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, blessed be everyone, and um, hope you enjoyed the bedroom tour and me nattering about York, and I hope I'll have another video for you guys soon.